Things are about to get good in here. Um, so crazy guy has a plan. Yeah, what's that? Sure you want to know? Uh, yeah. Let me show you. Something bad's about to happen. I'm going to do this. <laughs> and by the time they realized what he was doing, it was too late to stop him. Yeah, he's gonna kill Clover. Okay, hold on. All right, there we go. In the blink of an eye, he had slid around behind her and wrapped his arm around her waist. Ew, gross. She's like fourteen. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Santa leapt forward toward Clover and the ninth man. I feel like I'm reading a storybook to a very deranged child. He was halfway there when... Stay back. Suddenly the man's hand dove into his pocket. And he has a knife. Came back out with a knife. A pocket knife. Okay. <laughs> he held it to Clover's pale, quivering neck. If you get any closer... I'll cut her open. Gala's face looks like an eggplant. Santa skidded to a halt. He snarled at the scrawny man with the knife and gritted his teeth. Yes, that's right. The man's smile was neither friendly nor reassuring. Sweat poured down his neck, soaking the collar of his shirt. Uh-oh. Snake senses something is wrong with his super blind powers. Sounded oddly concerned. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Sure you are, girl. I feel like she could hold her own in a fight. Alright. What's about to happen? <sighs> okay. Eventually, the man reached the wall and gave a start as his back touched it, then glanced around quickly and spoke. Verify. Huh? The left. Look to your left. You see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel, the round part. What if I don't? <laughs> well, what do you think? Well, now all I need is your bracelet. You could, yeah, just cut her hand off and be done with it. It'll take you a while with a pocket knife. Alright. Okay. Just trying to get the door open. So that's how it works. Placing one's palm... The user's bracelet number would be entered into the device. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find the digital root is equal to the number on the door, the door will open. Jinpei shifted his eyes to the door itself. There's a big ol' five on it. Seemed to know a little more about the device's operation than he should. How had he known exactly what to do? And... Let's see, he needs... Snake, right? Oh no, Ace. You're the one with the number one. Wait, night. Okay, yeah, I was thinking that Clover was three. She's four. Yep, yeah, that would equal 14. And, uh... That would be... Digital root of five, so that they can open the door number five. That's how this works. <laughs> Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just just calm down. Fucking psycho. <laughs> Do it. Scan your doodle. Okay. Where are my eyebrows itchy. After what seemed like an agonizing eternity, he reached it. Oh, so, yeah, I don't know if anyone 
<laughs> saw like my previous videos of this. I keep, I keep uh, moving the plot forward. I I rearranged things. I have the the DS panels going horizontal now. I think it looks a little better. Um, let me know if you like it. Yeah. There you go. Wouldn't open just yet. Only three to five people. So. So he's gonna scan his. What would that be? His own. It's a nine. I gotta stop gesturing with my injured arm. <laughs> Actually, it feels a lot better. It's just uh, still a little bit of pain in the, the compression of the wrap is nice. Go. Go further away. <sighs> he is going to try to pass through it by himself. In other words... <laughs> now I can get out of that. Now I can get out of this nightmare. <laughs> My tea ready yet? Oh, I got a feeling something bad is going to happen. I don't think. Uh, I don't think his plan is gonna work the way he thinks it is. <laughs> Let go of Clover. Wait. Shinpei leapt towards the ninth man, but he wasn't fast enough. The man shoved Clover. Ah! <laughs> this is great. And hopped through the door. Bitch, bye. Yeah, what? It, mm, so, so foolish. Then he was gone. And then the door shut. I really like the... There's not a whole lot of animation in this, but what's there is, is it's subtly used, and I like it. Um. Alright, now what? Clover, are you alright? Snake ran to Clover's side as she lay on the floor. Yeah, I'm fine. She climbed unsteadily to her feet. There's like 20 different voices I have to do in this game. I'm not doing all the voices. <laughs> Leaned heavily on Snake's shoulder for support. Jinpei ran to the door. Yep, it's shut all right. <laughs> uh. Yep, yeah, it won't open. Shit! It won't budge. That was when Lotus, the dancer, spoke. Her voice was quiet. Do you hear something? Like what? Like some sort of beeping. Junpei pressed his ear against the cold metal of the door. The others did the same. <laughs> Not gonna give her a voice because I hate her. You're right, I can hear it too. Said the most boring character in this game. What is it? Then they heard something else. It was the ninth man. Shit. Why isn't it stopping? God damn it! You 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 lied. Lied. This wasn't supposed to happen. This is wrong. This is wrong. His voice shook with fear. Safe on the outside, they stepped back from the door and looked at one another. What is happening in there? Yeah. <laughs> Open the door, please. I'm begging you. Help me. Please get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh man. <laughs> Tough shit. There's no way to open it. It said engaged. <laughs> oh my god. There's no time left. I was lied to. He lied to me. It was him. Ah. <laughs> And he exploded. <laughs> All right. Okay. Explosion rocked the room. Instinctively, they ducked, then stood up slowly when they realized there was no danger. No one spoke. 
I mean, he did try to kill someone. You can't feel bad that he's dead, right? <laughs> and it's all over. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to open it. <laughs> Let's see. Five. Uh, oh, I get to select. Um, that'll work, right? I think they'll all work, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, because they all equal nine. Yeah. The pun was a little too on the nose. No, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, like, if they hadn't mentioned it, I wouldn't have even notice. <laughs> yep. I fulfilled the conditions. Are you guys ready? I'm gonna open it. Oh boy. Alright, if, if you're sensitive, then you should probably start looking away. <laughs> and slowly lowered the lever. So I think. It doesn't really show anything that bad, it just, it's like blood. It was a metallic groan, and the door slid open. A breath of air drifted out of it, carrying a stench that nearly made them gag. Oh my god. Good god. Y'all. <laughs> Seven grunted. Whoa, that's, that's pretty bad. I feel like if, uh, in the Japanese, this guy probably says, like, oi a lot. <laughs> He blew up. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of the... That was like the second episode of Red Dwarf. Where they see into the future and, um... Uh... Rimmer sees Dave explode and he's like, I exploded? And he's like, bits of you did. <laughs> he exploded. Yeah, so they... I'm not gonna read all of this. They go into some really... Yeah... I'm a girl and I'm gonna spend the rest of the rest of the fucking game fainting at various intervals and slowing everybody down. Yeah, she falls down, maybe. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. Only stays open for nine seconds. How about that? It's almost as if everything in this game comes down to the number nine. And now she's on the floor. Alright, this whole time. Like every time this happens, I'm like, can someone get that girl, like, a power bar or something? <laughs> Maybe some Gatorade. I know, she has a fever. So yeah, I don't... I can't accidentally reveal any spoilers, because I don't actually know the background of any of this. Um, the ending I got didn't explain shit. So, um... Obviously, we're gonna get spoilers as we play through it, but... Uh, I can't accidentally let anything slip if, if anyone's worried about that. But I was thinking, I was like, oh, she keeps fainting. I was like, maybe, maybe she's pregnant. Cause that's definitely like a, a thing that it's like a trope, um, female character. But I mean, I think she's supposed to be like a young college girl. So I don't know if they would do that. <laughs> it does happen a lot. Maybe it's some more of a thing in like American media, but it's like if a, a female character like suddenly becomes faint. It's revealed later that episode that she's pregnant. Which is really irritating, honestly. <laughs> uh, ah, she's crying. It's, a, it's gonna be okay, maybe. Probably not. Most of us are gonna die. I mean, we're all wondering that. We're not special. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh, and I was gonna say the the thing about like the pregnancy in media it annoys me because like like if you have a uterus and like you're sick or especially if you have like a chronic illness and you're like wow I don't feel well some asshole is gonna be like oh you're probably pregnant it's like how about you leave me alone how about you stop saying that okay. and then a bell began to ring seven eight 
Nine, ten. It's ten o'clock. We wasted an hour on this nonsense. People exploding all over the place. Alright. It's ten o'clock then. That means it's been an hour. Yeah, sure has, buddy. Seven's deep voice echoed across the room. Fuck! I've had enough of this crap. Santa leapt to his feet, his fists clenched. How long are we going to pussyfoot around like this? We've only got eight hours. Yes, yes, we all know that. Let's go. Let's enter the doors. Yeah, let's do it. I want to do that too. I want to get to the next puzzle. There's so much dialogue in this game. Okay. Uh, I refuse. I'm not going to end up like him. Then you're just going to eventually drown. Oh, I think we have... Oh, we've got a bit more explanation before we can go through the doors. All right. Huh, I work on my tea over here. Yeah. I think I'll... We'll... Uh, yes, yeah, so, so for this first ending, I'm going to get... I go through door four. So I'm like, I think I'm going to go in the door that doesn't have the goo all over it. <laughs> yeah, it's making a really... Really detailed description of this guy's mangled body. <laughs> so we're just gonna kind of mash A here. <laughs> oh, the stomach flippity flop. Yeah. He broke the rule of the game. I'm getting out of here alive. Sure, are optimistic. <gasps> Uh, he knows a secret. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yes, he broke a rule. That was why he died. Oh, by the way, like my hair is all clean and fresh. I'm growing the bitch burns back. So, just did that earlier today. It feels really good. I was getting pretty shaggy. <laughs> and I definitely had to, like... I'm leaving in about a week to go to Prog Power. Definitely had to get it all, like, groomed before then. Because, you know, I want to look my best. Just in case there's any hot metal guys there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so they're explaining that uh, whoever enters has to... They actually have to... Whoever verifies their bracelet, they actually have to go through the door together. Otherwise, you explode. <laughs> he said... I think I have to select it. Yeah. He said everyone who verified had to go. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. Whatever it was, it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. Yeah, like I went through by himself, so he done fucked up. Wait. Yeah, another tea bag. That is correct. A gold star. Oh boy, I get a gold star. Oh boy. All right. Yeah, he broke the rule. Okay. All right. It's tea time. That was why he was executed. Got it. Not necessarily. Yeah. Oh man, I have to I have to do this entire intro six times, although it does let you fast forward a little bit, but like you still have to do the puzzles even if you've already done them. Not that big a deal. I know I could just look up the all the endings on YouTube, but I wanna do it myself. And be a big boy. Alright. Mm-hmm. Very well, I guess I'll have to explain. So <sighs> All right. Well, I know a great many things. He has a a secret note that nobody else had. <laughs> mm, it's 
and brew. <laughs> yes, this is Braille, the written language of the blind. Jinpei could recognize it, but he certainly couldn't read it. Sorry guys, I can't read this. Well, thanks. You're really helpful. Why don't you give it back to the blind guy? How about that? <laughs> okay, that was fun. What's so important about that card? I'm guessing it says something. Mm -mm. Suddenly, everyone wanted to hear what it said. Mm. <laughs> Snake raised his hand. Calm down now. No need to panic. I kind of, this guy reminds me of, like, like a character from Ujina. Like, he would kind of have the mannerisms of, like, Akio. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. Jinpei swallowed hard and waited for him to start. He was not the only one. Make some room on my couch arm here. There we go. Since you are not blessed with sight, I shall bless you and only you with information that I'm sure you won't tell anybody else. I shall tell you the function of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. The red is the recognition device. It will verify your number. Beside every numbered door, you will find a red. The dead is the deactivation device. It does exactly what it says. Once you have passed through the numbered door, you must use the dead to stop the detonator in your bracelet. By the way, you're all filled with bombs. But perhaps you are wondering, what does this detonator detonate? I'm afraid this may be something of a surprise. I have placed a small bomb inside of you and the, i just want to read the the things that are in those brackets in a different voice um i know they're just highlighting them so because they're important and the people you were about to meet you swallowed it while you were unconscious i have no doubt that by the time you read this note the bomb will live past your stomach and found its way to your small intestine in other words you will be unable to regurgitate it i suggest you do not try because that's really gross. As I mentioned before, the bracelet on your left hand contains a detonator. Think of it as a remote fuse or timer for the bomb in your body. There is only one condition which will cause it to detonate. That condition is that you enter a numbered door. Once you've done so, the timer will activate no matter who you may be. You will have 81 seconds. That's nine times nine. If after that, the detonator has not, I'm trying to get more comfy here, has not been deactivated, it will send a signal to the bomb instructing it to explode. Fantastic. Every person who verified their number must also verify their numbers at the dead. Once all numbers have been verified, you only need to pull the lever at its side and the countdown will cease. There. I mean, you have over a minute. It's really not. It's like a lot of time, basically. It's not a. Uh, it's not that terrifying. <laughs> and that is to say, if you should pass through a numbered door without first verifying your red, your number at the red, in 81 seconds you will be done. You must also keep in mind, the numbered doors will close automatically after nine seconds. Got it. Let us discuss how to remove the bracelets. You can't. There are only two ways. One, you escape from the ship. Two, your heart rate reaches zero. So you can take them off of dead people. That's important to know. <laughs> there is no other way. If you attempt to force it off or disable the detonator, the bomb within you will immediately explode. Cool. Mm. 
This is all the information I can impart. Mmm. I don't want to hurt anybody. Okay. Got it. <laughs> yeah, so everything's automated. <laughs> Let's add vomit to this situation. That'll make it better. There was a bomb inside his body. Gross. Thought of it made him queasy. His legs were weak. I know, he should have, like, hid some snacks somewhere. Although, there is a kitchen, I think, and I haven't seen that part yet. I think I get to see it in this one. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm gonna ask one more time. Do any of you know anything about Zero? <sighs> I saw him. I didn't see his face. Yes, we all saw him. And the gas mask. While we were being gassed. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yes. Me too. I was wearing a gas mask. All of their stories were the same. They had been abducted at home at midnight. The person claiming to be Zero had worn a mask. There was white smoke, and then they passed out. When they awoke, they found themselves on D-deck in a room with a three-level bunk bed. Only seven stories seemed to lack the detail of the others. Hmm. Oh. Me? Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. That was all he'd said. It sounded strange, but he didn't press the issue. If something that struck him is even stranger. Oh, that's really not that strange. For some reason, they had been abducted from the same room and woken up in the same room. There. Dun dun dun. We're siblings. Siblings? It's not really that shocking. Like, Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. Not really so hard to understand, right? Like, it's not that shocking. <laughs> Alright. She is correct, of course. Are you surprised? Well, yeah, but... Right? Okay, you too. Junpei and Jun. Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? Let's give her the most annoying voice possible. You said you were childhood friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter. Don't care. <laughs> Alright. I think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way. Probably not. <sighs> mm, textbook stuff. Sure, why not? Mm. Does any of this ring a bell? Ring a bell? Ring a bell. <laughs> Looked at one another. Mm. Well, perhaps you went to school with the son of a multi-millionaire. But... <laughs> well, someone bought this boat and set up all of this. Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. This is true. Well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. Way to be astute, Ace. But why? It could be a number of things. Some sort of psychological experiment. Uh, yeah. And that's a pretty fucked up experiment. The guy's dead. Yeah, that was that was part of it. <laughs> I don't know who the hell this zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's gotta be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. 
This was all one guy. He's got some serious issues. Even with the specter of death hanging over them, their discussions continued for some time. In the end, however, they learned nothing. We just wasted a bunch more time that we don't have to waste. Ugh. Ugh. We just wasted another half hour. Let's go through the door. I wanna. Yeah. No one was willing to argue this time. Cool. We're doing it. Very well, then. Gotta divide into two teams and pick a door for each of us. Because, yeah, of the original nine, there's eight left. So we can either split into three and five or four and four. Press four and four makes more sense. Who's gotta go in which door? I don't know. How about you just stay here? And we'll go on without you, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. We can do very basic addition. Mm. There's no way in hell I'm going to door five. Fair enough. Don't be selfish. I'm not going in there. It's all squishy and gross. <laughs> do you know how expensive these shoes were? <sighs> we were doing so well. Oh, well, that sells that. <laughs> yeah, <it's> just <laughs> he's the one that cares about his shoes. <laughs> I was being stereotypical, I suppose. <laughs> the hell, man! Aren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Doesn't mean I wanted to go in door five. Snarky bitch. All right. <laughs> oh God, it was an awkward silence. Finally, Seven spoke. Fine. I'll go in door five. Can't go in there alone, though. Anyone else willing to come with me? I, I have to go in door four for this playthrough, so no. <laughs> I'll go. What? Don't worry, you'll be fine. I'm certain we'll meet again. How do you know that? Because I do. <laughs> no. <laughs> Seven is next two, four, four, my one. Yes, that's true. Gita! <laughs> a cute little jump. And what about the other four? That's a good question. So it's Lotus, Santa, June, and Junpei. Eight, three, six, and five. That would be four. It is indeed four. Let's do it. This is the same every time. And I think like after all of this, um, it prompts you like, do you want to go into four or five? So I'm going to stick with four for this one. Four people would go into door five. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace. And four people would go into door four. Lotus, Santa, Jun, and Junpei. Okay, cool. Sounds good to me. Uh, yes. Huh. Sorry, we, we're gonna see it a lot, believe it or not. <laughs> yes, yeah, you should examine the corpse. Because, you know, you were told earlier that you can take the bracelet off of a dead body. Maybe his bracelet will come in handy? Don't listen to me. <laughs> Alright. Wouldn't be going without Lotus and Santa. Blah, 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 blah. No, I'm going through door four. I'm torn. I'm also, hold on. I'm gonna save it, save, just in case I hit the wrong button. Save at regular intervals. Okay. No, I'm gonna keep playing. Uh... Let's do... Oh, come on. This game is super verbose. 
All right then, seems we've reached a conclusion. Wait, I'm the main character, I have to say something. I would like to go through door four. Cool. So this is gonna be new. I have not seen what's behind door four at all before. So now, now it's exciting. I just had to get through this really long intro. I mean, nah, I don't know. <laughs> like it's a really, really intriguing plot and it's, there's nothing like bad about this. It's just like, oh, I already did this. <laughs> My own fault for playing through without uh, paying attention to what I was doing. I mean, I was paying attention. I just, I picked the doors based on how I was feeling at the time without looking up what the end would be. Okay. Alrighty. Bye guys. Time to go. Back where we belong. No one can prevent me from raising towers in Babylon. I grabbed the lever. His face tight with determination. Be careful. Even if, you know, you die, there's more chance of me surviving. So I don't really care. Alright. The mouth of a great hungry beast. Hungry beasts. Hmm. Um, the body was not a pleasant thing. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but his sense of smell would be increased, right? Because he's blind. <laughs> What's black in the pool of blood? So it would smell extra gross to him. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. See you on the other side. Maybe. Alright. Closing with the heavy finality of metal upon metal. Jinpei and his companions scrambled to the door. It's it's shut alright. I don't care. <laughs> uh, it's beeping. Hopefully the beeping stops. Yep. Do you think they're okay? Mmm. Hold on. Alright. Drink with right hand. Press A with left hand, because that's easier than holding the teacup. Hey, there it is. That's gotta be that dead thing. Come on, get over here. We gotta authenticate. Beaving stopped. They did it. <laughs> A collective sigh of relief. You doing alright over there? Yep, we're fine. <laughs> I like clover. I think clover and snake and lotus are my favorite characters so far. You know how the red was red? Well, the dead is blue. Other than that, it's just like the red. Cool. That helps a lot. Thank you. Yeah, let's go. I can't wait to find out what's beyond door number four. So excited. going in. Four asterisks appeared on the screen. You guys ready? Yeah. Sure. Let's go. Let's end go. Alright. Hope the, uh, the volume and everything is okay. Um... 
obviously I'm not wearing headphones. I just have the sound turned off. Um, you know, I can't really put headphones over this, uh, this hawk, can I? No, I can. I'll just smush it. <laughs> okay. Let's go. With strength and determination, he pulled the lever. Rrrg. Run? Yeah. Or we could just walk. <gasps> Funky. The moment they had passed through, they heard a cold electronic sound. We've got the, uh, the countdown starts. We've got 81 seconds. Yes. Um, doors are shut. Clunk. Sound of metal on metal. There's no turning back now. Where the hell is the dead? How would I know? Don't give me that crap. Start looking. I already am. They began to run, eyes looking frantically for the device that was the key to their salvation. It's a renter somewhere. Uh oh. Bunch of doors. Yeah. Oh, this is not good. It's supposed to be right behind the door. It wasn't all the other ones, I think. Uh, it's probably all gonna be locked. <laughs> All the doors are bolted shut. Dead's gotta be on the wall here somewhere. Watch this be the ending. We all die right after passing through door four. It's like, alright, there's, there's the first ending. Alright. I know it isn't, though. It's not moving. Small red light. There you go. Wow, oh, that's fucked up to put it all the way at the end of the hallway. <laughs> Fun, we only have ten more seconds. Uh, how would I know? Uh oh, <laughs> that was true. so close you can do it his hands slick with sweat beep mash that scanner panel beep 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 ka-chunk whew we did it we didn't explode like it stopped. Alright, now where am I going after this? Maybe through that door? Because all the other doors are bolted shut, right? Oh, okay. So I guess... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, can't open that door either. Well, small keyhole. Oh, uh, is that Mars? Uh, I'm like, I should know all the planetary signs from Sailor Moon, right? That's probably the symbol of Mars, yeah. Well, technically they're the same symbol. Mm hmm Yeah, we already noticed several of these. Saturn. The Earth. Okay. 
I think so. What are you doing? We have to do things. Mm. Is there a door that's open? Here's the door. No, the other door's open. Then that must mean... We only have two more doors. These two right here. I'm guessing... At least one of them's gonna open. Otherwise we're just gonna die in this hallway. <laughs> Oops. I accidentally hit the, uh... Oops. There we go. <laughs> uh... B92 and B93. Okay. Alright, door on the left, door on the right. Let's open them. Okay. I mean, there's tons of shit to be afraid of. Yeah. Hmm. Were they both open? Cool. Alright, so I'm guessing I'm going to find that key and be able to open the double doors in one of these rooms. Hmm. Uh, it opens. Hmm. Which one should I investigate first? Yeah. Okay, so, oh boy, I get to search the room with my favorite person. I'd rather be hanging out with Lotus right now. <laughs> it's not just because she's hot. I, I like her personality. <laughs> that didn't really sound convincing. Okay. 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 So this is just a small, like, cabin, basically. Alright, let's start looking around for shit. Um, the way I've been playing this game so far is I'm just seeing if I can figure out the puzzle, waiting to, until I get stuck, if I get stuck, and um, that face looks expensive. If I get super stuck, then I will look up a walkthrough. Now you're gonna steal it? Oh, okay. Right, I like her a little bit more now. Okay, cool. This looks weird. That's probably... Uh, there's probably something to decipher here. What's her brain made of? Okay. Okay. Um, not gonna let me click on it? No. Okay. Oh, okay. So, okay, there's another door here. Let's just start with this. What? Is this a shower? Uh, there could be. Yeah. Oh. Well, there's nothing there. <laughs> Let's put it back. Okay. Um, search everything. For putting soap on. I used a shower once, so I know. Okay. Shower nods. Uh, no water. Okay, what about the shower head? Nothing special about it. Okay, so this room was pointless? Unless there's some kind of funky pattern I have to decipher here. Okay. Alright, fuck the shower. Um, 
Toilet. Shower curtains, huh? Still nothing. Oh, am I inside the shower? <laughs> Well, I'm glad. Oh boy. No, please concentrate on survival, not your stupid hormones. This is awkward. Time to open the curtain. <laughs> uh, is there something interesting about the toilet? Maybe. Tank's empty. Okay. What about the toilet paper? Collection of full and partially depleted rolls of toilet paper. Someone was well prepared. What? Oh god. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Let's get out of this bathroom. Please. For the love of god. Okay. Alright. So, there was nothing in the bathroom whatsoever. That was just completely fucking pointless. Alright. Fuck it. What's over here? A sofa? Ah. Uh, we don't have time to be relaxing on a sofa. Oh boy. Alright, what's this on the table? Matches. Alright. Do I have to set something on fire? I'm cool with that. Okay. Mm. Oh my god. I don't care. Hmm. Uh, sure, why not? I'm worried about you. But it's not because I like you or anything. Dune flushed and giggles. I don't know. None of us know. Eh. Ah. <laughs> okay. That's it. You got it. Um, but is that really the truth? Yes, damn it. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, what would be the point? Like. It could really just be a coincidence. Uh, what would I hide? Hmm. And you're hiding it. Hmm. Oh my god, come on. No, I really don't. <laughs> uh, only 18 times zero. Oh, yeah, I'm a virgin. Tee hee. Mm. Of course, it would be 18. Because that's nine times two. Everything's divisible by nine. God damn it, this game is freaking me out. Okay. No, anyway, I'm not hiding anything. Good, go away. Maybe she's zero. I don't know. <laughs> that would be kind of interesting. And, you know, this whole... Her entire life she's been obsessed with him and she put this all together just to see him again. <laughs> yeah. Hmm... Do I? Maybe. <sighs> Can you please stop talking? <laughs> hmm. I mean, maybe there's some plot, or maybe I'm just going to look at this, this thing. A display case. It appears to be empty. How sad. Stop talking. I'm going to look at this table. Round wooden table. Oh, fucking great. I am... Not getting anywhere. There's gotta be something else in the bathroom. 
Uh, hold on, let me look at this picture again. Okay, what if I use the matches on the picture and set it on fire? Hmm. Looks like there's room on the right side of the picture. Room for what? Oh, it looks like there's a room. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, I already went in the bathroom. There's nothing else here. There's only two... Oh, wait. What about this door? Where are you going? Oh. Okay. What about... Okay. So I thought this was the, uh, the door we came in. Okay. We're in uh, the bedroom part. Bottle with water in it. Thank you for that. Maybe you should drink that water. Whoa. <laughs> Just kidding. The shower doesn't work anyway. Holy crap. <laughs> now I have a boner. Uh, okay, a bed. It's a light blue blanket with some designs. This piece of hair, stuck to my lip. Alright. It's only bed sheets, nothing exciting, really. Not even anything under the pillows. All I found so far is a book of matches. Oh yeah, let's get into bed together. Oh my goodness. starting to piss me off. <laughs> okay. Okay, what about this bed frame? Hmm. Oh my god. Hmm. Huh. Alright, just... Okay. I just want to come back make sure I've poked every area of it. Here's a picture. It isn't a painting, it's a map. Ooh, give me that. Give me the map. Give it to me. Yes. Okay. I got a map. Okay. Okay. Well, last time I like I didn't use the map at all, honestly. Like it's pretty pretty clear like where to go and what to do for the most part okay more explanation ah. okay mm. yes it's a very big ship Titanic. Man. Whoa. Maybe. Seems a weird thing to mention if it wasn't important. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the second time I've like exactly predicted what the main character was gonna say, so I don't know. Was I actually a writer on this game and I forgot? Ah, sorry. That's like a piece of piece of lint stuck to my lip. Okay. Uh it's probably not the actual Titanic because that one sunk. <laughs> uh very well could be. You know, like a copy. Fans. Crazy Titanic fans. <sighs> hmm. Uh, yeah. That's actually kind of a cool idea. Although, like... Who would, uh... Uh-oh. Uh, I was gonna say who would go on that, but I'm sure tons of people would. <laughs> Yeah, like... Uh, okay. 
I wouldn't be surprised if you'd get cursed just for going. Curse, huh? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I believe in curses. Heck yeah. Okay. I think it was a curse that sunk the Titanic. Okay. This conversation sure is taking a while. Secret spooky mummy curse. <laughs> she was pretty, but she was a mummy. Oh, that's disturbing. Bonification. That's not what it was. That's not it. She wasn't wax. Frozen. What? Well, at least she's not trying to bone me right now. This is more interesting than. <laughs> you know how a human body is more than 60% water, and all of that water was frozen. Cool. That was freaky. Okay. Ice that wouldn't melt. Could such a thing really exist? There was a, a line in the intro that said something like ice that wouldn't melt. So maybe that's important. Or maybe it isn't. I don't know. Very strange. Oh, anyway, I'm taking a note of it. Even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice. <laughs> the more he thought about it, the more his head hurt, like he'd eaten his ice cream too fast. Okay. This is just silly. Um, what's in this cabinet? There are cups. Surprising no one. God, you do not need to get sassy with me. Okay, some vanity. Oh, a drawer. <gasps> a key. Dresser key. Okay. God. It says dresser key. Okay. Um, anything else about this? So, uh, um, shh, none of this. None of this. Okay, so with the key I got, just the key to the drawer that it was inside, because that is kind of shitty. The chair that goes with the dresser. Um, how about that wall? Nothing. Okay, door. Uh, let's try... We already looked at this. Nothing in it and the drawers are empty. So what the fuck is that key for? Uh oh. I might be a little bit stumped. Just a tad. Um. Okay. And there's only these screens. Um. Maybe there's a hidden drawer. Um. What's that? Can I set it on fire? With the matches? <laughs> no. Okay, so that was my list. Um, yeah. Alright, so there's the bedroom. 
And the bathroom, the living room, and that's it. We have explored every area, but not found anything particularly amazing. Um, didn't click on the light. Oh no. Don't say shit like that to me. Um, <laughs> and I've got our matches and a dresser key. Well, this is a. I can't combine them, I don't think. Not gonna do anything. Okay. <laughs> um. Huh. Dutes. Dutes. And let me. Let me try going back to the bathroom. This is the door to the left, this is the door to exit. An empty vase. And there's. It keeps mentioning the room. So I'm gonna go back in the bathroom. There's gotta be something else in there. Maybe I can set something on fire. Um, hold on. No. Square tiles. Soap. Uh. God, if I can't figure it out in a sec, try clicking everything in here. Um, watch that again. <laughs> How did I get inside the shower last time? Oh, here we go. If I just turn around. So. Let me use the matches on the curtain. Nope. Alright, what about the lamp? Nothing. Nothing special about that. Alright, time to look up what to do here. Ow. Very strange, uh, strange level here. Um, let's see. Alright. Take a juice break. I believe I've got a a spoiler free FAQ that I found. I think this is it. Yeah, okay. Do do Okay. Oh, I have to go to the other room now. That makes sense. Okay, I've got everything from this room. Now I have to go meet up with Lotus. Okay. Let's do that then. Uh, I was right. Everything in here has been exhausted. No, I'm back in the shower. I want to leave. Okay. 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 I'm... Uh, why? Because <sighs> you stupid. I I hate you. Oh my god. You yeah. You stay here. <sighs> All right. Okay. Oh my god. What's up? You're going back already. Oops. Did I? Oh, okay. Um, I thought I was in the same room. No, no, I'm not going back. I'm not. I'm not. I just got here. I want to explore. No. No. Please don't talk to me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Alright. Start looking at this stuff. Um. Cool. Good to know. I bet if I, hmm, I want it. I want to see if I can combine that with the other picture. All right, let's go ahead and look at the, I'm guessing also the bathroom. Yeah, same thing, except this doesn't have a shower curtain. This is the bathroom all. Hmm, this is funky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, this one doesn't have a shower curtain. Just the the uh, rings are there. <laughs> Free shower curtain. All right. You're saying this one does? Yes, clearly. You've got eyes. Hmm. It's probably a reason. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, look at the toilet paper. Man, if like I was in this situation, I would be like taking some of that toilet paper and like putting it in my pocket just in case I had to sneeze later. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks to the bathroom. All we found out was that they don't have a shower curtain. Let's look around. Maybe this key I found goes in something. Oh, so this one has display cases. Or it has displays in the case. There's <laughs> plates and shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Look, there's another towel. I want to put it in my pocket. Maybe I have to assemble the picture. That would be fun. No, it won't let me take it. I'm going to use the key on here. Mm. Shit. It's not opening. Uh, let's just smash it. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way you think, Santa. Let's smash this bitch open. Um, I don't think it's going to work. It looks like tempered glass. I don't think throwing a table at it is going to break it, but we could try. It would be fun. The table would bounce back and possibly hit somebody. Okay. Some kind of bowl, a vase. Some pieces of expensive looking ceramic and porcelain. I really want to know what's up with this picture thing. Okay. I guess that's all we can do here for now. So we got this candle. Ooh, I can light it. <gasps> Combine the candle with the fire. I know. If I use these matches to light the candle, I have a lit candle. Full hot damn. So you lit the candle. I found a torch. Good for me. Okay. Alright. Maybe if I... Well, let me keep exploring. Okay. It gets so hot, I want to put it down. Okay. There's... I think it's... It's one of the earlier episodes of Freakazoid. Um, where they're kind of doing a parody of like RPGs like that where you have to pick up stuff and he pulls a torch off the wall and he's like I found a torch, good for me I always think about that when I'm playing a game like this alright, can I use the key? hey, it got pretty bright we can look around a little okay, um, yeah, let's look around let me look at this desk or drawer, it's locked what about my key? Okay. Maybe I have to find... Okay. Yeah. I was say maybe I have to find something else, but here we go. Yes! It worked! Open it. <gasps> it's a fucking tile! I finally get to pick one up. What about the other ones? Maybe I have to open the the display case somehow. I'm just like, if there's going to be like a puzzle where I have to assemble the tiles later, I'm super excited about that. Okay. No puzzles in it. What? Okay. Not yet. If that's not what happens, I'm going to be really sad. I wanted to close it. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, there we go. Um, nothing special, just the seat, just the light. There's never anything in the lights. Like, why would you even make them clickable? Okay. Okay. What's over? Ooh. Oh, yeah, it was dark in here. I guess if, if I tried to go in here without having that candle, it would have been like, oh, it's really dark in here. What should we do? Let's examine the picture closer, maybe. Is it the Titanic? Bottle full of water. But what if we do? <laughs> it 
There's a freaking cupboard in here. Are you alright? Oh. I mean... Nah, there's nothing. Okay. I'm just gonna look at the bed really quick. Ooh, what's that? A cur- Oh. What? Okay, so do I have to put this in the bathroom? But to what end? It's a shower curtain. Cool. Okay. Let's put that in the bathroom. I'm glad I looked at the bed. I was going to skip it because there wasn't anything on the other bed. Two pillows and a pile. Oh. Pile of pillows. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Nothing suspicious here. Okay. Huh? Did the candle go out? Um. No, it's gonna be something scary hiding in the dark. Oh, it all, it all burned down? That did not last long. <laughs> what a crappy candle! Is there something inside it? What? There was a key inside? I didn't see that coming. Neat. Maybe it's the key to the, um, the display case, and I can pick up that tile. Fucking hope so. I'm, like, too excited about that. Okay. Let's go. Go out. Use candlestick key on display case. No, I just want to click the case. Uh, here's the lock right here. Let's see if this candlestick key will do anything. Yes! Oh my god, yes! That means there's probably six other tiles, though, right? Because it's like, give me that shit. Boss. Oh my god. Yeah. Or possibly four. I don't, the, well, the grid's probably nine, because everything in this game is nine. So I, I gotta find more of these. Um, got a minute? No! I don't want to hear you talk about stuff. There's puzzles to be solved, you silver-haired asshole. Okay. Take what? What is it? Oh. A four-leaf clover bookmark. Found it in between some of the cushions on the sofa. Okay. Hmm. Because I don't feel like it. I'm wearing girl pants, they don't have pockets. Mm -mm. You hate these things? Okay. This is very strange. Yes, what does anything you just said have to do with anything? To be quite honest. That's a leaf language. Okay. You just keep right on talking about leaf words. Leaf words. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll hang on to it. Super weird. <laughs> what do you want to do? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Put it in the pocket. I mean, it might come in handy. I wonder if all the endings are connected in some way. I mean, they have to be, right? Okay. Shoved it in his pocket, gave him one last confused look. Uh, why don't you just throw it away? Hm. Okay, kiddo. Hm. What had happened to him to make him such a bitter person? Okay. <laughs> A 
That's just silly. You're so silly. I'm a 21st century guy. It's a half ass number? What? Not the best or the worst. That's why. Nine is a way better number. Maybe he's zero. <laughs> so freaky. It's like everything these characters are saying is so weird. It has to be important. <laughs> you play. Uh, you mean like gambling? Uh, yeah. What else would I mean? Okay. Baccarat. Ah, oh, here we go talking about Baccarat. <laughs> the best possible hand totals nine. They call it Le Grande. But the lowest are the O's. What are the, like, the face cards? They're called Monkey. Zero is a monkey. <laughs> okay. I don't understand. Yeah, okay. Doesn't easy me that stupid digital root junk. You drop the tens digit, and that's it. I kind of want to play back right now. I've never played it before. Um. Hmm. Whoever has nine wins. Person who makes nine wins. Uh. The door that carries a nine. That would be the, uh, the final door. Yes, that is true. Of course. That's why it's called the nonary game. That means nine, apparently. Something derived from nine, or base nine. Nona. I know that from crossword puzzles. It's like nonet, which is like a, a group of nine. Shows up on crossword puzzles sometimes. The fix for one is uni. You like the unicorn. Two is bi. Like bisexual, binary. Binary means composed of two parts. I use try. Get that? Like a triangle. That's cuatro, quinti, sex, septum, and so on. Wait, what's eight? What's eight? Okay, octo. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yes, I also went to elementary school. No, no, that means nine. Well, it was nine. Except one guy exploded. Nine hours. Like, all of this information that I'm getting in this part, like, I did not get in my last playthrough, so... This is interesting. This is all new content for me, so that's cool. Um, yeah. Gotta find the door with the nine. By making a team with the digital root of nine. And I really, really just want to find the rest of the tiles. Yep, you got it. And, and put the puzzle together. The creak of stressed metal. Mm. With a sad, desperate scream of a pig headed to the slaughterhouse. Donna, donna. Okay. What's that? What's that? Oh, it's, I thought it looked like another black and white tile. It's just that vase. Okay. Search around the couch. It's a pretty nice sofa. It's a shame I can't take it back with me. Look at the table. It's just a table. Um, oh, oh, it is only in four parts. Well, then, do I have all of them? Uh, no, I only have two. However, I have that shower curtain. I totally forgot about it because the characters would not shut up. Okay, um, the bathroom was right here. Okay. Let us put up that curtain. I think if I... Okay. Nope, oops. Touching the wall. I just turn around. Now I can use it. 
There's a curtain rod. Let's put that shower curtain on those hooks. Oh, there's something on it. There totally is something on this one. What could it be? The fuck is that? I also could have just opened it and shook it out. Oh, it's just a rip. Gross. Hold on. <laughs> this home invasion fantasies. Let's not keep talking about this. You two are real idiots, you know that? See, I like Lotus. <laughs> okay. Now let me let me turn around. And let me pull the curtain back again. And let me investigate the hole. If I look at it from a ways back. Yeah. I knew there was going to be some kind of code in the tiles. Looks like it's fifth from the top. Hold on, I need to write this down. I have a really terrible short-term memory, so for a game like this, it's really helpful to take notes, which I already have. So, you can get something to, to write on, so I'm not writing directly on my owl, owl my hand. Uh, all right, the container of salad pots is going to have to do. <laughs> I can't reach my notebook with my busted hand. Um, so fifth from top, third from right. Okay. Put that over there. Uh, even through the package, you can really smell the menthol of that thing. Um, if you don't know what salad paws are, they're like uh, a topical pain relief patch. And they have like menthol in them. I actually have one on under here. Um, I think it's kind of lost its usefulness though. Okay. So, uh, might as well put it back. Okay. So fifth from the top, one, two, three, four, five. And third from the right. Looking through this hole, I can see Fifth from the top and third from the right. Let's have a closer look. Ugh. Well, that means. That means what? That means what? Um. Blah? I don't know. Try again. Okay. Put the shower curtain back. Um, I don't know what that means. Let me exit the bathroom and let me go back to the painting and see if let me see if I can use these. No. Okay. Um, let me just poke it hell you've got. I think maybe you're supposed to put it in one of those empty spaces. God, yes! I've been trying to do that for 20 minutes. Okay. Yes, it does. It totally does. You're a genius. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where the other one is. Okay. And look at the walkthrough really quick. Alright. Okay. Oh, I have to go back to the other room. Okay, now that I've sort of... Got my bearings here. If I'm ever in a two-room situation again, I will make sure I'm going back and forth. I didn't realize that was a thing. This is the first time I've encountered that. So let us... I don't miss her. I don't like her. <laughs> I'm the main character. I get to decide what I want to do. This is not a dating sim. If it was, I would probably go for... Well, not Clover, because she's too young. I'd go for Lotus, for sure. Um, Ace has a certain, like, older guy. You know, quiet, sexy dignity to him. Okay. So, this one. There it is! 
Ooh. Okay. I got it. Got it. I did it. Yeah, so you got the code for which tile from the other bathroom, and you had to get the tile from the other bathroom. Alright, let me out of here. Before June starts fucking talking to me. Okay. There we go. Guess I'm supposed to put the tiles in the empty spaces. I was kind of hoping it would be like a slide puzzle or something, but... Oh, maybe it is. Oh my god, it is. What the fuck is this supposed to be? Oh no. What does that mean? Off. On. Oh. On. Okay. Please. Um. It looks like the two bottom ones are lined up. Okay. Um. Okay, there we go. But what is it supposed to be? It's kind of creepy. Yes! I did it. <gasps> There's something behind it. I think this is the whole room. I think we've done it. Um, I might take a break after this. I'm getting kind of hungry. Okay, what's this? What do you mean, what's this? It's a freaking key, lady. Like a hidden safe, you know? Oh man, this was a very, very clever puzzle. So I'm guessing that's the key to the door. I believe this is the end. Yeah, it's the Mars key. This is one of those Mars symbols. Yeah. Let's do it. I know I said the, the, the game is verbose. And that was kind of annoying, but it's also like... I'm searching everything. Like, it'll take a little bit longer, but I really want to absorb, like, every line of text. Okay. What's the deal with this picture, anyway? I don't know. I wish I knew. Something with it. Um. I think I've seen this picture before. In a book. It was a British biochemist. Alright, another like totally esoteric thing they're talking about. Named Sheldrake. He has a rather interesting theory that black and white blobs are something scary. Morphogenetic field, which relies on the theory of morphic resonance. <laughs> Not a difficult concept to grasp. Okay. <laughs> Theory of the telepathic mechanism. It's in bold, so... <laughs> telepathy. Yes, telepathy. Perhaps not exactly telepathy, but it is close enough for a simple approximation. Ha 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 ha. Are you serious? Telepathy? What do you think we are, kids from the 70s? <laughs> Can't believe anyone would actually do serious research on something like that. You'd be surprised what humans do, especially before we had the internet. Read the book, but I can hardly say I understood it. I'm in no position to defend or condemn anything it said. It's probably just someone latching on to a statistical outlier from some study and turning it into a ridiculous theory. Cool. Mm-hmm. Sure. Or... I mean, so, so, so far we've talked about the Titanic, the mummy, the ice that never melts, telepathy... Um... Anyway, saw a picture like that in one of his books. Okay, cool. And... I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> I 
I mean, it kind of looks like a figure standing over a cross. But like really distorted. Now let me lean back a little bit. <laughs> That's it. Um. Hmm. I guess it looks like. What's Funyarinpa? Definitely doesn't look like a face. A small boat floating in a lake. I'm gonna look up what that is. Fun ya din pa denani. Oh, it's just something he made up. Okay. That is not actually a thing. I'm gonna select that. <laughs> I was just making up a word. <laughs> That's practically blasphemous. Oh my god. Do you really have time to make a stupid joke? When you're literally going to die in eight hours? Less than eight hours? I don't even know how long we've been in this room. Probably seven hours at this point. Ugh. Are you just screwing around? <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you. It's a dog. Somehow. Ha Oh, look at that! <laughs> what a cute puppy. Oh, I see it now. Yeah. It was a dog. Yeah, now that I've seen it once, I can totally see it. <laughs> That's really cool. TV show from Great Britain did an experiment once. They took two similar pictures. Both of them were difficult to identify initially. Once you'd figured out the answer, you couldn't see it as anything else. <laughs> First picture was a woman wearing a hat. The other one... It was this picture of a dog. Uh -oh. Their experiment... This is fascinating. 9.2% saw the lady in the picture, and 3.9% saw the dog. And two days later, they broadcast a new show. During the 30 minute show, they broadcast the dog picture and its solution. Hmm. Okay. people saw it because of humans collective telepathy that makes sense yeah <laughs> freaky ah uh, that's freaky to think about like, that could very well be real, huh? <laughs> That's crazy. Hmm. 
That actually made me stop being snarky because that was like super fascinating. <laughs> yeah, is this something to do with that field or whatever you were talking about? So if more people know the answer. And that information will pass through the fields. Dot dot dot. Psych. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I was just kidding. You really shouldn't take me seriously. Well, that happened, but... And they could have easily falsified them, that's true. <laughs> Santa had gained control of his composure. Man, I gotta admit, you had me there for a minute. I really thought you were serious. <laughs> of course not. Like I told you before, I'm sure it's all just pseudoscience. <laughs> they gave one another jovial claps on the shoulder. <laughs> I don't feel like laughing. Something felt wrong. Unclear. Yeah, we've got the key. Let's get out of here. We could have, like, talked about this while we were walking, but... <laughs> Crazy. Mm. Okay. We're done. Time to go. Okay. Yes, you go get June, so I don't have to talk to her. Alright. Yes, it unlocked. So, I believe that was the final solution. What's gonna happen next, I wonder? I'm gonna take a break, and we'll, uh, we'll find out what is beyond that door next time. Beautiful. <gasps> You found it! Cool, that one was really interesting. Um, I really liked the, the tile puzzle. Um, the only thing I had trouble with was going back and forth between the rooms. So, that's cool. Alright. We're gonna save. And... Figure out what's ahead next time. Bye-bye.